Hello friends, there are several ways to make a dynamic breast and blender. Here is the fastest with only one bone involved. First you'll need to install the Springbone add-on, you'll find the link in description. I also provide a link to download the start scene for free. Let's start to rig, shift A. Armature, single bone. Go to edit mode, and in the side view, extrude another bone from the base of the first one. This new horizontal one will be the root bone. Try to name your bones gradually. The other bone will be the chest. Move it up. Name it chest. And place it roughly in the center of the rib cage. Then select the top of that bone and press E to extrude a new one. Then press Alt P to disconnect this bone. That way it is still a child of the chest bone, but you can move it where you want. Place it approximately like I do in that video. The idea is to have this bone aligned with the hypothetical diameter of the boob. I named this bone boob underscore L. Left the edit mode and go to pose mode. Then in the bone tab, in the spring bones area, activate spring and rotation. Leave the parameter as they are. You can start the interactive mode to run a small test. The bone turn green, meaning it have the spring constraint applied to it. And we can see the dynamic moves are there too. Stop the calculation by clicking again on interactive mode. We'll now go back into the armature edit mode in order to symmetrize the bone. Once done, go to object mode. Then select first the mesh and then the armature. Press Ctrl P and select with empty groups. Now select the mesh and press tab to go in edit mode. Press A to select all the vertices and go to the object data properties tab. Select the chest vertex group and assign a weight of 0.5 to these points. Go back to object mode and select first the armature then the object. Press Ctrl tab and run the weight paint mode. Control click to select the left bone and start to paint a 0.5 weight on all the points of the boob. We'll come back later to paint more subtle values to fine tune the deformations. Go back to object mode and to the solid shading. Here I can see my bones popping out, and as I don't want to offend anyone, I decided to reduce their size. You'll see in the scene I provide that there is a second collection with a more complete breast. Now let's run another test. For my tasting? The moves are not convincing enough, and there are too much polygon glitches. Stop the calculations and let's check the object modifiers stack. Move the subsurface modifier after the armature one, and activate the preserve volume option. Let's run one more test. Yep. There are less glitches, but still not enough life in that breast. To improve that, I'm gonna fine-tune the weight. Here I'm facing a massive lag situation because I forgot to stop the calculations. Let's do it right now. Back into weight paint mode. I add or subtract weight here and there for the boob bone. But, more important, I suppress weight from the chest bone group. If you have activate the auto normalize option in the paint tool panel, like I should have done, you win a nice amount of time.
The second paint phase is done. Go for a new test. This time, I'm happy with the result. It's not perfect, but it's convincing enough in my opinion. You still can refine the weight painting or the spring bone parameters, but bear in mind that this one bone strategy is designed to be simple. Perfection was optional. Let me know in the comment if you'd like a more realistic strategy. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.